In today's world, there is less kindness and trust. Every time a person asks for money, people see either an annoying beggar or a skillful thief. But it also happens that, under their poor clothes, there is a kind heart full of compassion and goodness. If we notice that, we can help at least one person, and in this way, we can make the world around us better. This stunning story took place in the capital of the Republic of Kenya in Africa. In the city of Nairobi, a child from the slums, John, like many poor children, came up to cars on the road and asked for alms. He had no relatives and in the streets of the city, he had to survive on his own. Not all drivers reacted kindly, but the boy was used to it. One day, he came up to a car to ask for money as usual, but what he saw inside the car just dazzled him. The driver was a woman. She was sitting with numerous tubes attached to her body and they were connected to light cylinders in the car. There was also a device of unknown purpose. Seeing this terrible, unexpected picture, John decided to ask why the woman had these tubes attached to her and why she was carrying huge balloons. Driver was glad as Kimande. She was having treatment because she had problems with her lungs. To continue living, she had to move with oxygen cylinders and a generator all the time. Outside the car, the woman used a wheelchair to which breathing equipment was also attached and it allowed her to survive. She told John about everything and showed him all the equipment in her car. The boy was so shocked by her story that he burst into tears. John suddenly realized that there were even more terrible difficulties than his own. After all, when one loses their health, nothing else is important. He burst into tears at the thought that he could do nothing to help this unhappy woman, not knowing what to do. He offered ladies all the coins he had collected during the day. The boy was aware of the small amount of this money, but he really wanted to help in some way. Gladys tried to calm John down by holding his hand. Having seen a boy crying by a car, a passerby came and asked what had happened. When he realized what had happened, he took several pictures and posted them on the internet with a story below, and then the kindness of the little Kenyan boy shocked many people and caused a response in their hearts. Only a few days passed and the images became viral. They were on social media around the world and created a real phenomenon that completely changed the lives of the two unhappy people, Gladys and John. Thousands of people were able to collect about $80,000 via the internet. They helped Gladys to go to the woman, India for treatment. Only 32 years the woman, old, managed who was to only 32 her years old, managed to improve her health. Stormy discussions on social media influenced the fate of John. He was adopted and his new mother was a wonderful, cheerful woman. She took the boy out of the street and gave him a home. Now he studies at school, lives in a good house and most importantly, as a loving mother. The sincere act and the sense of responsibility changed John's life and it changed many more people who believed in their ability to do good together. People can make their dreams come true and even help each other to survive one. Only needs to act like John, at least a little bit, who once stood on the road asking for alms but gave his last money to someone who was sick and suffered a lot. That's all. Share this amazing story with your friends and family and write your opinion in the comments. Bye.